Hello, in this video we're going to integrate 1 over the square root of x plus the cube root of x. Now this is one that I found pretty interesting, so let's give it a go. And the first thing we're going to do, as we often do when we have an integrand involving roots, is to rewrite it in a way that doesn't involve roots and that instead involves fractional powers. And so the square root of x is the same as x to the one half, and the cube root of x is the same as x to the one third. Right, so we just get the integral of dx over x to the half plus x to the third. Now, what we're going to do is a substitution. We're going to introduce a new variable t such that x is equal to t to the power of 6. So why do we do that? It's because 6 um, is divisible by 2, and it's also divisible by 3. In fact, it's the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. And so when we do that substitution, um, our fractional powers in the denominator will become integer powers, and hopefully that's going to make this integral a bit more approachable. Um, and so to do this substitution, we also have to find dx in terms of dt. Um, by differentiating that definition of x in terms of t, we find that dx is simply 6t to the 5 dt. And then when we put all that back into the integrand, we find that we get the integral of 6t to the 5 dt. And then what's on the bottom? Well, x to the half is t to the 6 uh, divided by 2, right? And so that is actually just t cubed. And similarly, x to the third is t to the 6 over 3. And therefore, it is just t squared. And the nice thing about this is notice that we can divide t squared and t cubed and t to the 5. We can divide all of those by t squared and simplify things a bit. So let's also pull out this constant factor of 6 and write this as the integral of, remember we're dividing by t squared, so we're going to have t cubed dt on the top, and we're just going to have t plus 1 on the bottom. Right, so from this point there are various uh, ways we could proceed. Um, what I'm going to do is some polynomial long division. So let me just uh, set that up over here, polynomial long division. So if you haven't seen this before, this is basically an extension of the classic long division uh, method, but as the name implies, for polynomials. Um, and what we're doing is we're dividing t cubed uh, by t plus 1. Okay, so we've set up our division and uh, how's this going to work? Well, we take our t cubed, we divide it by the hi highest power of t uh, in the divisor, which is t plus 1, right? So the highest power of t is just t, and so t cubed divided by t gives us t squared. We put our t squared up here. Now, we take this t squared, multiply it by this t plus 1 out the front, um, and we get t cubed plus t squared. Then we do a subtraction, right? So we subtract this thing, from, sorry, we take uh, t cubed and subtract t cubed plus t squared. Um, and when we do that subtraction, we just get minus t squared, right? Because the t cubes cancelled. So uh, we've got to do another kind of iteration of this. So now we've got minus t squared. Again, we divide it by the highest power of t in the divisor, which is just t. Minus t squared divided by t is simply minus t. So we put that minus t up there. Take the minus t, multiply it by t plus 1, and write the result uh, down here. So we're going to get minus t squared minus t. Then we do another subtraction. The minus t squareds will cancel, and we will just get t on the bottom down here. We're nearly done. I think just one more iteration uh, to go. So now we've got t. We just take that t, divide it by uh, this t in the divisor, and we just get plus 1. So we put that plus 1 up there, multiply the 1 by the divisor, which just gives us t plus 1. Put that down there, do a subtraction, and we are left with a remainder of minus 1, right? We can't do any more division because minus 1 is basically a zeroth order polynomial in t, um, whereas the divisor t plus 1 is a first order polynomial in t, and so um, the divisor is of a higher degree um, than this thing down here. So minus 1 is going to be our remainder, and so we can use this result to rewrite our integrand in a more approachable way. So it's going to be 6 times uh, the integral of, uh, so it's going to be t squared minus t plus 1, right? That's um, this thing up here that we got from the, the long division. And then we take our remainder, minus 1, and we put it over the divisor, okay, like this. So the divisor was t plus 1. And that integral is with respect to t, right? So that step from, from there to there, 
that was just uh, pure algebra, no calculus there. We just did this long division. Um, but now our integrand is in a, in a more approachable form. And so we can just integrate each of those terms directly. So we get six times t cubed over three minus t squared over two plus t. And how about this one over t plus one? Um, actually, that works out quite nicely. It's just minus the log of t plus one. And then we mustn't forget to add our constant of integration. Let's call it c. And the last step is just going to be um, to rewrite this in terms of x, right, which was our original variable. So x was t to the sixth. And so t is x to the one sixth. And so what are we going to get? Well, our first term is six thirds of t cubed. So six thirds is the same as two. OK, so two and t cubed is um, x to the three over six which is x to the half, which is just root x, right? So we get two root x. Now, how about the second term? So we get minus six over two, which is minus three. Um, then t squared is x to the two sixth or x to the one third or the cube root of x. And so we get three times the cube root of x. Um, we are nearly there. So this next term is t, which is just x to the one sixth. Uh, remember, x to the one sixth is the same as the sixth root of x, and so we can write that as six times the sixth root of x. Um, and finally, uh, we've just got this minus six natural log of uh, the sixth root of x plus one. Uh, then we've got our constant of integration. Um, so there you go. Um, we have integrated this slightly weird looking uh, integral using a non-obvious substitution combined with polynomial long division. Now, if you found this interesting, do keep an eye out for one of my upcoming videos in which I'm going to work through a more kind of generalized example uh, of an integral of this, of a similar form to this one.